Welcome to medieval Europe, where fire was a constant threat to the safety and livelihood of communities. With wooden buildings and thatched roofs, a small spark could quickly turn into a raging inferno. But how did people in the Middle Ages fight fires? Let's take a look. When a fire broke out, it was up to the community to put it out. People would use whatever resources they had available, such as buckets of water, sand, and even wet animal hides, to try to extinguish the flames. But with no firefighting equipment or techniques, it was a difficult and dangerous task. They would often form a human chain, passing buckets of water or sand from person to person, in an effort to get the materials to the fire as quickly as possible. However, due to the lack of water supply and the limited amount of materials available, it was not uncommon for the bucket brigade to run out of water before the fire was fully extinguished. Due to the lack of organized firefighting, fires often spread quickly and caused widespread destruction. Many buildings and homes were made of wood, and with no firefighting equipment or techniques, it was difficult to put out fires once they started. Some cities even had laws that required property owners to keep their roofs thatched with water-resistant materials, but enforcement was often lax. One of the most devastating fires in history occurred in London in 1666, the Great Fire of London, which destroyed much of the city, including many homes and buildings. The fire broke out in a bakery on Pudding Lane and quickly spread due to the high winds and the densely packed wooden buildings. Despite the efforts of the Bucket Brigade and other volunteers, the fire burned for several days and devastated the city. Prior to this fire, London had no organized fire protection system. Afterwards, insurance companies formed private fire brigades to protect their clients' property. These buildings were identified by fire insurance marks. There is an urban legend that insurance brigades would only fight fires at buildings the company insured. This claim has been debunked. In the 17th century, the first fire engines were invented. These early fire engines were essentially pumps mounted on wheels, which could be pulled by horses to the scene of a fire. This allowed for a more efficient way to pump water to extinguish the flames. But these early fire engines were still relatively primitive and not very effective in controlling large fires. Communities would often have to rebuild after a fire, with little help from outside sources. It wasn't until later in history that formal firefighting organizations and professional firefighters were established. The first known firefighting guilds were formed in the 12th century in Germany, but it wasn't until the 19th century that the first professional fire departments were established in major cities. Now, we have a dedicated and well-trained firefighting force, equipped with the latest technology and techniques. From fire engines to hoses to smoke alarms, we have come a long way from the bucket brigade of the Middle Ages. But let's not forget the brave individuals who risked their lives to put out fires in the Middle Ages, using only the resources they had available. Please like and subscribe for more history-related videos.